keeping, but they're not watching. Sometimes you have to condition your hands, you know, on the back. You don't want to overdo it to the point where you hurt yourself. You know, it's about a rational progression. You know, don't work yourself up to the point where you can throw full power shots in the back. Do not rush it. That was the old thing. I'm not going to watch some virtual fist. The modern version put on down is overall more efficient, but there's still places for that. There are still places, you know, for that vertical face to slip in. Uh, the kickboxer being a high reach. A lot of times, like a guy will be playing that real tight glove approach. And like, uh, and he'll just slot <laughs> into his train. And like, the guy is kind of expecting to catch it. The vertical fist, it, it, it kind of just slips right through that guy that where the guy's expecting his gloves to catch it. And also, the vertical fist, um, the mechanics are just slightly different, and people just don't read it the same way. Like, if he has you timed, if he has you, if he has you timed and figured out on your cross, he's just reading, he's reading it, and then all of a sudden, you know, it's a vertical fist for some reason. They, their eyes don't pick it up the same way, and you can just slip them in. Uh, mechanically, one issue with it is uh, I am blown away by how much of a difference getting hit going from here to here. It, it doesn't seem like it would be that much, but if you actually spar with it, this to this it, it, it is a huge number of punches you eat that just for some reason, it, it doesn't even make sense, but like, doesn't even make sense you know but like you, you'll just find yourself when you when you switch from this to this you just start eating a lot of leather you don't normally so there are little mechanical advantages and disadvantages there is a reason why boxing transitioned from this to this this is overall mechanically more efficient but there are still places for the traditional bare knuckle, uh, bare knuckle part of the punch. Do you use it as a cleanup sometimes, like Kovalev? Like he'll knock somebody out with a with a jab sometimes, like that, like a vertical one, one two one. Yeah. You know, I, I've seen some of these stuff. I have not seen that specifically. He does some really brilliant creative stuff. So I'll, I'll have to kind of look that up. Or if you just link it to me, you know, I, I study all the masters, I, yeah. I, I study everything. <laughs> and uh, remember, you don't just have to use the heavy bag for, uh, you just don't just have to hit the heavy bag for striking, like, you know, you move and everything, then you do a level change, you know, and just driving, it's it's hard to get the equipment to get that done. You don't always have a partner, you know, but it gives you the feel for it. Um, the street level change or the MMA level change is not the same animals as the uh, wrestling level change. You do not need to get that low. Like the key to the, First thing is you just have to get underneath your opponent's hips. You just have to get underneath your opponent's hips. If the guy is in a wrestling stance, you have to drop to one knee to do that a lot. If the guy is up here, you really don't have to get that low. You're playing, you're playing. You know, you like 
No, a Chris Bird straight slip. And then just in here, and this, and this is when you practice driving your head and just kind of get that motion. And that jab step, that feeling of getting that habit of just driving across. You know, so you're playing, you're playing. do the amount of drilling you want to do to just get that down. So this is a good thing. And it mixes it mechanically, you know, with your striking and your shadow boxing. If you do it separately, there's a mental change in the gears. You don't want it to be kind of just Want it seamless in your head, so they're the same thing. Like uh, early MMA was like, you know, you're using your boxing combinations to set up your wrestling chain wrestling combinations. Modern MMA is more; they're the same thing. They're, they're all flowing together. It's not boxing to wrestling. It's one and the same. Like, you know, if you have like a, you know, lead hand hook and you chop down, you know, you kind of just chop it down and go over the top. Wow, you chop down, you already have a level change. Bang! You're already there, just take advantage of it, you know? And, uh, any position, like boxing bottle we like I'm using a defensive motion to load up a power punch. The uh, I'm using a defensive motion to load up a power punch. Any motion in wrestling that gets you in that position in a similar position loads you up for something, do it. Any position in boxing that gets you in a wrestling position, 